In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and verify Sparrow Bitcoin Wallet. When it comes to Bitcoin software and Bitcoin wallets, it is always best practiced to verify your download. So let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am on my computer and the first thing we want to do is download some software that we will use to verify Sparrow. So if you're on a Mac, what you want to do is search GPG Suite and then it should be the first one at the top, gpgtools.org. So here I am on that site. What you would do on this site is just click download and install GPG tools onto your computer. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to skip this step. If you are on Windows, what you wanna do is go to this site here, gpg4win.org, and you will have to download the tool from there. Cool, once you have GPG Suite up and running, you should see this application over here, GPG Keychain and we're going to use this at a later stage. What we wanna do now is go back to any browser and go to Sparrow Wallet's website. So I'll search Sparrow, then go to sparrowwallet.com. Now there are some scam sites out there, so make sure you are on sparrowwallet.com. Now on their website, what you wanna do is click download at the top right of your screen, and then download Sparrow for whatever operating system you are on. I am on Mac OS with an Apple chip, so I'm going to download this over here. Now to verify that the software is authentic, we will also need to download these two files, the manifest file and the manifest signature file. So just click on the manifest file, then click on the manifest signature file, and those should download to your computer. Now what we need to do is simply scroll down to verifying the release, and here are the instructions. At the top over here, what it's telling you to do is download GPG, which we already did. So for Mac OS, would open gpgtools.org and Windows would open gpgforwin.org. So we already have that downloaded. The first step is to copy this line and paste that in our terminal. So to get to your terminal, I like to just search at the top right of my screen, terminal, and then I click on my terminal and here we have our terminal. What we need to do is copy this entire line, then in our terminal, paste that in and click return or enter. Now it's going to import Craig Raw's key, who is the developer, into our keychain. So here in my keychain, here I see Craig Raw, and that's Craig at sparrowwallet.com. Now an extra step you may want to take, which I suggest you do take, is to verify that Craig Raw's key is correct. To do this, I'm going to go onto his Twitter, so that's Craig Raw on Twitter, and we wanna make sure these keys match. So here I see it ends in 4C67, 4B40, and here I see the same, 4C67, 4B40. And just before that was 1833, and here I see 1833. So everything matches here, I have imported the correct key. All right, now let's go back to our instructions, and the next line we need to run is this CD downloads. So I'm going to copy this line, then I open my terminal, and I paste in CD downloads and click return. Now CD downloads is simply telling the computer to look into my downloads folder. If I open my downloads folder, we'll see that's where the Sparrow files are sitting. So I'm telling my computer to basically look at these files right now. The next step is to run this line here. So I'm going to copy that and then I paste that back in the terminal, click return and we need to look for this output here. We need signature made on this date using this key, good signature from Craig Raw. So here I can see good signature from Craig Raw using this key and everything looks good to me. Now note that you may get this warning here. You can safely ignore this warning. It also says that in the Sparrow docs here, you can safely ignore any warning message similar to this. Cool, now the next step will depend on what operating system you're on. So if you scroll down, here is the line you need to run for Mac OS, here's Linux, and here is Windows. I'm on Mac OS, so all I do is copy this line over here, and then I go back to my terminal, I paste that in and click return, and then I should see Sparrow 1.7.9.dmg with okay at the end. So here in my terminal, I see that matches. I've got Sparrow 1.7.9, and then I've got an OK at the end. So that is the verification process. That is 
it's verified now, and we know it's the authentic software that was actually written by Craig Raw. Now what we can do is go to our finder and then to our downloads. We can delete these two files. We no longer need them. That's the .txt and the .asc. So I'll move those to bin. And now we just need to run this. Then we need to drag Sparrow onto our applications. Now I already have Sparrow downloaded. So I'm just going to click on replace and I'm quickly going to fill in my password. All right, I have filled in my password. Now, if I go onto my applications here in Finder, I click on applications, we will see Sparrow Wallet somewhere over here. There we go, there is Sparrow Wallet. I can also eject this Sparrow here. I don't need that anymore. And that's it, that's how to download and verify Sparrow Wallet. I have a whole series of video guides on how to use Sparrow Wallet, which I will link below. So if you need help getting started with Sparrow, I suggest you head over to the Sparrow Wallet guides. If you found this video valuable, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated. All my videos are free and that helps to keep my channel alive and growing.